Shadow Hack Chapter 941, Igniting Yuanying The four immortals stationed within the Night Pearl small world were rogue cultivators without any foundation. One of them, Yan Tian, had been killed by Yin Son of Heaven, so the other three true immortals were afraid of him to some extent and acceded to his every plea. As for what concerned the cultivator possessing sword immortal lineage, he belonged to a small faction, Profound Sword Pavilion, of the Alliance. The three immortals were clear about who was important and who wasn't between Yin Manor and Profound Sword Pavilion. Ju Kingza was a tribulation passing stage sword cultivator, so his speed was much faster than that of ordinary true immortals. Unless he did not have any energy to run, even true immortals could not catch him. But after fleeing for a long time, his energy began to run out. Whatever was left could not allow him to continue fleeing at peak speed, and he started to slow down. With a few bursts in between, Ju King's average speed remained fixed. The three true immortal burst forth at that moment, and the distance between the two parties began to shrink bit by bit because of the explosive increase in their speed. The youngster of Profound Sword Pavilion in the front, didn't you hear us? We are the three managers of the Alliance, and by not stopping after seeing us, you are breaking the rules. If you don't halt, we will take action. When Ju Kingza heard the words of the three immortals, he lowered his head and looked at Yan Wang Kaiyu who was grabbing his right hand with reluctance in her eyes. The next instant, he pulled Yan Wang Kaiyu up and let go of the sword. Without the support of the sword, his speed lowered, and the three immortals chasing at a fast speed caught up with them in a few breaths. Senior Apprentice Brother Yan Wang Kaiyu looked at the three true immortals as well as the disciples of Yin Manor, who were getting closer and closer with each passing instant, with a hint of panic on her face. The eyes of the twins whom she was tightly hugging in her bosom were brimming with tears. Junior Apprentice Sister, I can't go on any more. My strength is insufficient. If I continue to flee, we will all die. It would be better if I tried to keep them here while you used this cyan rainbow sword to find Li Yun Mu. Ask him to help you all return to the Gumang real world, where you'll be safe in profound sword pavilion. Quickly, go now and find Li Yun Mu. Ju Kings stopped in midair and turned around. An astonishing sword intent exploded from his body, just like the splendor of a setting sun when releasing the final ray of light. It transformed into countless formless swords which covered the sky and shattered the clouds. Ju Kingza placed his hands on his chest to create a spell imprint, and the surface of the Yuanying inside his body began to burn with heavenly flame. The surrounding energy of heaven and earth rushed into his meridians. After a breath's time, his tired body filled to the peak, and his cultivation began to climb slowly. He, who was originally at the late stage tribulation passing stage, reached the peak tribulation passing stage. Soon after, he also entered the mysterious false god realm. No one could become an immortal without crossing a tribulation. Gumang real world had a relationship of love and hate with the nine tribulations. They loved that they could obtain the comprehension of laws of heaven and earth after crossing the tribulation and their cultivation would stabilize but they hated the fact that the nine tribulations were very strong and not every cultivator could survive them. It was important to have a formidable power backing them since they needed a large amount of resources to pass the tribulations. If a person was a rogue cultivator, they needed to run around the world to prepare the resources for transcending the tribulations. In times past, there was a rogue cultivator who had entered a small world to evade the tribulations. The laws of the real world did not appear in a small world, so the nine tribulations did not descend. The rogue cultivator then continued to increase his cultivation until he reached the golden immortal realm. But because that Almighty hadn't gone through the tribulations, he couldn't comprehend the laws of Grand Dao. Due to that, he was much weaker than those who had gone through the tribulations to reach the same level. That rogue cultivator was unable to compare to some of the tyrannical true immortals. Moreover golden immortal almighties who hadn't gone through a tribulation had to face the heavenly thunder of the tribulation the moment they left the small world. The only outcome of that was death. In time, another name appeared in the real world, and it was the fake immortal realm, 
which was meant for those who had hidden in small worlds and become immortals by avoiding the nine tribulations. Only rogue cultivators without any resources or foundation would do such a thing. In their eyes, even if their strength was weak due to being a fake immortal and they could only stay in the small world, but when all was said and done, they were still alive and did not grow old. However, each and every person who had even a little bit of support behind them would never attempt to become a false immortal. When the three true immortals saw Zhu Qing's cultivation rise from half-step to immortal realm, astonishment appeared on their faces. Although Profound Sword Pavilion was a small force in the Alliance, they possessed a deep background and once had a great principal golden immortal in their sect. Yet right then, their disciple had chosen to make a breakthrough in the small world and become a false immortal in order to protect his juniors. How exactly had they offended Yin Son of Heaven that the youth was so desperate? A formidable energy spread out of Ju King's body. His presence rose to that of the initial stage true immortal realm, and a sword domain appeared around his body. Countless small swords materialized in a fifty-feet area around him, and cracks appeared in space. Yan Wang Kaiyu and the twins used the rainbow sword to fly southwest, so Ju Kingza had no option, but to take out an iron sword which he had used when he was at the returning origin stage. He made a slash in front of himself, and a wave of golden sword energy appeared in the sky out of nowhere. It rushed straight at the three immortals. Whoosh! The sword energy streaked past the sky while creating cracks and instantly arrived in front of the three true immortals. They remained calm and collected as they formed seals with their hands. Immortal energy bubbled forth and transformed into a multicolored beam that collided with the sword energy. Three rays of immortal energy collided with the sword energy, and the two cancelled each other out. That. An astonished expression appeared on the face of the true immortal in the lead, and he fixed his gaze on Ju Kingzi. You are crazy. The other two true immortals pondered what had happened for a moment before realizing where the problem lay. They then looked at Ju Kingza with a shocked expression. The three of them had inferred a few things from the sword strike. They had thought that Ju Kingza was walking the path of becoming a false immortal, but it was because they would have never expected that he would ignite his union and forcefully raise his strength. The difference between the two options was that of heaven and earth. After becoming a false immortal, the person would be trapped in the small world and possess inferior strength, but they could still live a long life. However, igniting one's yuanying meant that they would burn their life essence to obtain formidable strength for a short time. They could gain advancement in cultivation without a limit until their yuanying burned completely. Ju King's presence continued to grow. From initial stage true immortal, it rose to mid-stage true immortal, and before the three true immortals and the disciples of Yin Manor, who had arrived just then, could react, it broke through to late stage true immortal realm. Ju King's strength continued to increase, and the domain surrounding his body materialized and grew into a sword domain. Within it, there were countless swords flying around, and each one of them possessed threads of immortal energy. So this is the strength of a true immortal. It's really formidable. Ju King's sensed the changes of his cultivation, but his heart remained tranquil. He was considered a sword genius who only appeared once in a thousand years by his master, and he had easily crossed eight tribulations and only needed to comprehend the laws of a grand deo before transcending the last tribulation to become a true immortal. His future prospects had been boundless, but on that day, he was reduced to burning his life away. Chapter 942, One Strike of a Golden Immortal the matter right then could only be considered as a karmic loop. Ju Kingza couldn't blame Lang Yan for calling him to explore the god ruins, after all, he had been acting as a lackey for Lang Yan from the beginning. If he wanted to blame someone, then he could only blame himself for insisting on being a kind person and allowing himself to be exploited by Lang Yan on the pretext of providing more slots. Yan Wang Kaiyu had berated him many times regarding it but he had only listened to it silently without changing his attitude. Only when it was too late did he discover that it was a faulty attitude. If he had changed earlier, he might not have had to fall. Right then though, after burning his yuanying to increase his strength, there was no path of retreat left for him. 
His greatest desire at that moment was only for Yan Wang Kaiyu and the twins to return safely to Profound Sword Pavilion. The most important thing for Zhu Kingzi was to carefully sense his power after becoming an immortal. While holding the iron sword in his hand like an old man, he did a series of sword moves, and waves of sword energy flew toward the three true immortals. The disciples of Yin Manor, who had arrived just recently, looked at Zhu Kingza whose cultivation had reached late-stage true immortal realm with shocked expressions, which were concealed in the black fog. The three immortals, in the meantime, cursed inwardly, and their hands turned into a blur. They used immortal techniques to quickly form barriers in front of them which were three foot thick. But even after using many immortal techniques, the three didn't feel that they could stop Zhu Kingza's attack. The embroidered clothes they were wearing flickered at that moment, and golden threads rose from them. They created a landscape painting all around them, which showed a beautiful spring day. After creating two layers of defense, the three true immortals finally felt a sense of security. They had needed to join hands to deal with the sword strike sent by Zhu Kingza when he was an initial stage true immortal, so right then, when he was at the late stage of true immortal realm, they did not dare to take him lightly. Even if he was a fake immortal who hadn't transcended tribulation and was unable to display the laws of Grand Daos. By relying on the sword in his hand, he could destroy all creatures with viciousness. When Yin Manor's disciples saw that when Zhu Kingzi unleashed the sword move, the energy of heaven and earth from the surroundings was attracted to him, they began to panic. After giving it a quick thought, the three of them retreated quickly, not daring to come in contact with even one sword. Zhu Kingzi was still unleashing the sword moves in midair, again and again. His movements were very slow, and he didn't show even the smallest amount of immortal energy. The moment either of the three true immortals attacked, he would be unable to fight back. But no one dared to step forward. It was because after Zhu Kingzi unleashed the sword moves, the surroundings began to change. A draft blew from the mountains, and countless strings of mist drifted through the sky. The spiritual influence of heaven and earth began to stir restlessly as countless formless swords floated in the air. If the three true immortals went forward, there was a high chance that all the abnormal things they were seeing would attack them. Under this type of threat, who would dare to step forward? Zhu Kings's presence continued to rise slowly, and he soon reached the golden immortal realm. The yuanying in his body turned transparent, flickering between existence and non-existence. After unleashing the final move, Zhu Kings appointed the iron sword forward. It turned to dust in midair, and the sword energy in the surroundings rushed toward the three immortals. A large wave appeared in the previously calm sky which was flickering with golden light. It seemed weak initially, but slowly became more powerful. It grew until it became extremely dazzling and enveloped all creatures. The three true immortals had noticed that Zhu Kings's cultivation had risen to golden immortal realm when he unleashed his last strike. Their hearts turned cold then, and they only thought of retreating without coming in contact with the golden light. In Zhu Kings's eyes, only the cracks created by the dazzling light remained as he smiled. He hadn't expected that after his cultivation advanced to golden immortal realm, he could unleash such an astonishing strike. After it, the three golden immortals Uppi, D definitely D. There was no doubt about it. The only pity was that the three disciples of Yin Manor wouldn't be killed. Zhu Kingza thought about it as he sighed. His body seemed to have lost all energy, and he fell from the sky. While descending, his gaze lost all vigor, and the yuanying in his body completely dissipated. Burning the soul and battling had consumed his lifetime's cultivation and vitality. After the golden light dissipated, a vacuum appeared in the sky. There were no clouds there, and spatial cracks appeared from time to time. Not far away, three figures were standing at the edge of the vacuum and looking at the cracks in the sky. The space of the small world was more stable compared to the real world, so it was impossible to create any cracks in the air for anyone who was not a golden immortal. The sword cultivator of Profound Sword Pavilion had burned his soul to raise his cultivation and unleashed an astonishing strike at the golden immortal stage. Even after his death, the space could not stabilize, and spatial cracks appeared constantly. 
the three immortals of the Alliance had most likely died after taking the strike that caused all that. The disciples of Yin Manor glanced at each other. The sword cultivator of Profound Sword Pavilion had staked his life to avoid being captured, so it could only be assumed that he had obtained something from the god ruins. Now that he had died though, only the three Golden Core Stage Sword Cultivators remained. The disciples of Yin Manor had to capture them and deliver them to Yin Son of Heaven. Let's go and check whether that damned sword cultivator got something from the god ruins. If he hasn't, we need to catch those three disciples of Profound Sword Pavilion. They are only at the Golden Core stage, so they wouldn't have run far. While speaking, the three turned into balls of black fog and rushed toward Ju King's body, which had fallen into the jungle. They descended to the ground while revealing themselves and saw Ju Kingza lying on the ground, but next to him, there was a youth. The disciple of Yin Manor in the lead looked at the youth standing beside Ju Kingzi, but couldn't sense any hint of cultivation from him, so he coldly said, Who are you? This is Yin Manor's matter so step aside. The moment he said that, a red ghost flew out of the Yin domain of the disciple standing left of him and rushed toward the youth. When the ghost flew over, Li Yun Mu, who was observing Ju Kingzi, raised his head with a slight frown on his face. The red ghost shrieked, then turned into threads of cyan smoke and dissipated. Okay. You still want to resist? Which small faction of the Alliance do you belong to that you dared to kill my ghost? You seem to be tired of living. The Yin Manor's disciple, who had sent the ghost, became extremely cold when it was extinguished. The ghost only had the cultivation of golden core stage, so it was completely ordinary that the youth in front of him had wiped it out. After all, all those who could come to the small world were seeking godhood to become immortals, so the weakest among them were initial stage tribulation passing experts. Very few people with cultivation below that come to the small world. However, if the youth had been a great faction's disciple hiding his identity, then the disciples of Yin Manor, who had spent many years in the Night Pearl Small World, would have known him. They were only unfamiliar with the disciples of small factions. When there was no response from the youth, the three disciples of Yin Manor coldly snorted and commanded a tribulation passing ghost from their Yin domain to attack. Chapter 943, Are You Afraid? The three peak tribulation passing stage ghosts were the most formidable existences in the yin domains of the disciples of yin manor. Although any single one of them could not compare to a true late stage tribulation passing expert, ordinary mid stage tribulation passing experts were not their opponents. Even a late stage tribulation passing expert would perish under the joint attack of the three ghosts. In a flash, the three ghosts transformed into black claws that went for Li Yun Mu. He frowned slightly and raised his head to look at the three tribulation passing stage ghosts. He then extended his hand and made a grabbing motion in their direction, and the ghosts turned into cyan-colored smoke which dissipated in the air. Li Yunmu lowered his head after that to observe Ju Kingza who didn't have any breath left. His skin had turned ashen, which made it clear that he was beyond saving. His true soul has shattered, and it has begun to disperse in all corners of this small world. If you want to rescue him, you must collect the fragments of his true soul and return them to his body. The entire process shouldn't be very difficult the system slowly said in Li Yunmu's mind. Li Yunmu couldn't help but admire Ju Kings's determination. Not anyone would go as far as to shatter their soul. Or perhaps he himself did not know that burning his immortal soul would raise his cultivation from tribulation passing stage to golden immortal stage which was the ceiling for cultivation in the origin world for those who were not natives. And because Ju Kingza was at Golden Immortal Realm when he made the final strike, his true soul shattered. The true soul was different from the immortal soul. When the immortal soul was extinguished, it only meant that the person stopped existing in the world. As long as the true soul remained, the person would be born again, but once the true soul shattered and dispersed throughout the world, the person would never be born again. This soul-igniting forbidden technique is indeed terrifying. It surprisingly allowed Ju Kingza to rise from tribulation passing stage to golden immortal stage. Although the damage to oneself is disastrous, 
the final attack with an all-out strength can settle most threats. When the three true immortals encountered the attack of a golden immortal, they were wiped out without being able to resist, Li Yunmiu mumbled without paying any attention to the three disciples of Yun Manor standing on the side. There isn't any such method in the origin world. If Lakshmi had comprehended such a forbidden method, Azura probably wouldn't have dared to act. If you want to rescue Ju Kingzi, you must act quickly. If the fragments of a true soul spread far away, they will be pulled into the river of time the system reminded in a calm tone. Whether Ju Kingza lived or died had no relation to the system. Even when the battle of gods happened in the origin world and many gods perished, it hadn't shown any emotion. After reaching the true god realm at which it could create a real world with countless living beings, it didn't feel much sentiments regarding someone's life or death. Although after the true god incarnated into the system, it had developed some emotions, but Ju Kingza was someone from Gumang real world, so it naturally wouldn't bother about his life or death. Li Yunmi was different though. After he came to the Night Pearl small world, the first group of people he encountered was Ju Kingza's group, and they were rather friendly. After collaborating together, they regarded one another as friends, but their friendship was somewhat different from ordinary friendships. Ju Kingzi and others belonged to Gumang real world, while he was someone from the origin world, so the relationship between them was foreordained to be based on benefits. Li Yunmiu's plan was to use Yin Son of Heaven to force Ju Kingzi into collaborating with him, but he hadn't thought that besides the disciples of Yin Manor, three true immortals would join the chase. So when proceeding southwest from the god ruins, his pace had been unhurried, but he had still covered several thousands of kilometers. He didn't wait for Ju Kingza since he thought that the people of Yin Manor had let them go, so he threw away his intention to collaborate with them. But later, he sensed the presence of Yan Wang Kaiyu and Ju Kingza's rainbow sword and thought that something was wrong, so he instantly rushed to the jungle. But he was still a step too late. Ju Kingza had used the strike of Golden Immortal Realm and killed the three true immortals. His immortal soul dissipated, and his true soul shattered. Li Yunmiu erupted with his full strength when he thought of that, unable to continue disguising his presence. He exploded with the presence of an ancient god, and demonic energy surrounded his body and drilled into his body in the form of black threads. With that, his presence which had originally stabilized at ancient god rose again and reached the quasi master god realm after he entered the dark state. When Li Yunmiu's presence descended, the birds and animals in the surrounding mountains and woods quieted down. The originally unpleasant expressions of Yin Manor's disciples immediately turned deathly pale. The ghosts in their Yin domain seemed to have lost intelligence and floated around randomly. The youth was a quasi great principal golden immortal. The three disciples of Yin Manor were terrified of the Quasi Great Principal Golden Immortal standing in front of them, right beside Ju Kings's body, with a frown on his face. They began to think quickly, and the first thought that appeared in their mind was that the Quasi Great Principal Golden Immortal was an elder of Profound Sword Pavilion. But after some careful thought, they remembered that only those with cultivation lower than Golden Immortal Realm could enter the Origin World. So when could a quasi great principal golden immortal have entered the small world from Gumang real world? The disciples of Yin Manor stared at the youth with their expressions going paler and paler. Their lips slightly trembled as one of them said, person from inside. Once the three of them realized that, they wanted to use their full strength to run away, but they discovered that their bodies were rooted to the spot while the energy within them had been frozen. Damn it! Li Yunmiu looked at Ju Kingza with pitch black eyes and saw small dots of glimmering light like stars rushing toward the sky from his body. He extended his hand and gathered divine power to pull the dots of light into his hand until a small ball of flickering light was in his hand. What should I do after congealing the true soul? Li Yunmiu asked with a frown. At that moment, he began to wonder. The true soul had been congealed, but the immortal soul had already dissipated which could not be changed. The new soul born from the true soul would have no relation with who it was before, so Ju Kingza would remain himself, but he would not be the Ju Kingza which Li Yunmiu had met and befriended. Don't you possess the heavenly grand ritual? 
take out two drops of life water from it and feed him. It hasn't been long since Ju King's soul dissipated, so he may still retain his previous life's memories. If he doesn't, then he could at least continue living, which is far better than dying the system slowly explained. Li Yunmu sent the true soul into Ju King's body and extracted two drops from the heavenly grand ritual in his heavenly world. The instant the life water appeared, the spiritual influence of heaven and earth in the surroundings began to tremble, and the flowers, plants and trees began to mature crazily. Once the two drops of life water were dropped on Ju King's body, a transformation appeared, and it began to show signs of life. Li Yunmu as well as the three disciples of Yin Manor, who were unable to move, could sense a formidable vitality burst forth from the originally dead body of Ju Kingzi. A frail soul was born within it. The fluctuations coming from the soul were extremely sharp, as if it was a sword. Li Yunmu was slightly startled by the change. He was sure that something was not right, since things went completely differently from when a new soul was born in the body of Ar Yu Shao. What do you think, will Ju Kingzi possess the memories of his previous life? His soul mutated. It is not the same immortal soul, so it is likely that he won't possess the memories of his previous life. Chapter 944, Innate Sword Body Mutation While Li Yunmi was talking to the system, the new soul in Ju Kingzi's body began to grow more formidable as it was nourished by the life water. The feeling of sharpness became more tyrannical, and a formless sword intent wandered around his body. Li Yunmu looked at Ju Kingzi in astonishment without saying anything. His true soul has condensed, and it had been nourished by heavenly grand ritual, so there shouldn't be any major problems. While advancing southwest, Li Yunmu had flipped through the lower grade cultivation methods given by Yan Wangkai to gain more understanding about the cultivation methods of Gumang real world and once again came to realize that the people of the two worlds walked completely different paths. The origin world walked the path of external cultivation and focused on training the physical body. In the early stages, they did not try to comprehend the laws of Grand Daos but practiced their martial arts. The godhood which they needed to become gods possessed the laws of Grand Daos, and they comprehended them continuously over their extremely long lifetimes. This method allowed them to become gods very easily, but it also put a ceiling on the potential of the gods of the origin world. They were unable to move on after reaching a certain realm. Within the Gumang real world, in the meantime, the cultivators comprehended the Grand Daos. From the beginning, they did not put much effort into cultivating their physical bodies. After experiencing the three calamities and nine tribulations, their potential would develop. With each tribulation, their realm would rise, and it was even possible for a mortal to become a quasi-sage. Back in the day, among the ten emperor monarchs who attacked the origin world, not one of them was born an immortal. All of them were ordinary people who had stepped on the path of cultivation and become immortals who then later reached the emperor monarch realm. The biggest flaw in the system of the origin world was transforming the 3000 Grand Daos into godhood which ensured that there would only ever be 3000 gods. In comparison, the Grand Daos of Gumang real world were scattered throughout the world, so anyone could comprehend a Grand Dao. Every time someone transcended a tribulation, they would also be able to comprehend a portion of laws. The reason why Gumang real world continued to produce powerhouses was because as people became immortals, others perished. When the cultivators and immortals died, their comprehended Grand Daos returned to the world so that others could comprehend them. When a new soul was born in ancient god Ar Yu Shao's body, there was no mutation. That could be related to his comprehension. He was an ancient god of the origin world so he could control the laws of Grand Dao because of the metal attributed godhood. Because of that, after he became a corpse demon and was reborn, there was no mutation in his body. As for Ju Kingzi, from the time he began cultivating, he had been comprehending sword intent. He walked the path of sword lineage and cultivated a sword heart. After he burned his soul during the battle, his immortal soul and true soul shattered, and the sword heart disappeared. If he had possessed the memories of his past life when Li Yunmi resurrected him, 
there wouldn't have been any mutation in his soul. But the newly born soul possessed sword intent, which could be considered as a mutation, so it was clear that he didn't possess any memories of his past life. Seems like this mutation has allowed Ju King's body to change from postnatal sword body to innate sword body. He has really profited from this disaster. Li Yunmu looked at the formless sword energy surrounding Ju King's body. It was dancing in the wind in the form of a sword, and whenever any tree leaf entered its range, it was cut into countless pieces. Ju Kingza had greatly profited from the disaster. Based on the cultivation secrets provided by Yan Wang Kaiu, comprehending the sword path was more difficult than cultivating the five attributes. Those who possessed the sword lineage were few in number because they had to possess a postnatal sword body. It was a necessary prerequisite. On top of that, a cultivator had to be sensitive toward sword Dao, for only then could they comprehend the sword Dao and increase their strength at an astonishing pace. Previously, Ju Kingza possessed a postnatal sword body, so when he was found in the mortal world by profound sword pavilion, the entire sect had been jubilant. After all, the great principal golden immortal from profound sword sect had also possessed a postnatal sword body. As for an innate sword body, it was difficult to encounter it even in tens of thousands of years. It was the stuff of legends. An innate sword body had appeared previously in another great power of Gumang real world, which walked the path of Sword Dao, and who was finally bestowed the title of Sword Dao Emperor Monarch. During the attack on the origin world, however, the true god had killed him, so his body turned into dust and his soul scattered. Although Sword Dao Emperor Monarch had died, a legend circulated in the Gumang real world that those with innate sword body had the potential to become sages. After all, Sword Dao Emperor Monarch had only been one step away from reaching the Sage Realm. We still have time to kill him the system said disdainfully. After seeing Ju King's innate sword body after rebirth, it felt a hint of nervousness in its heart. A person who had the qualifications to become a sage was a potential danger. No need to worry. He doesn't have the memories of his previous life and is like a blank piece of paper. When he wakes up, he won't know that he is someone from Gumang real world. We will take him with us to the origin world and let him become a seed of reform. Maybe we'll have two quasi sages in the future, Li Yunmu said, and his gaze became gentler when it focused on Ju Kingzi. The young man possessed an innate sword body, so he would definitely advance by leaps and bounds on the path of Sword Dao. He was foreordained to become a quasi sage. Ancient god Ar Yu Shao, who was previously a corpse demon, also was likely to do the same. As long as he was carefully instructed after his rebirth, he would become a quasi sage. Two quasi sages could increase the strength of the origin world several times. Then bring him back with us. If he becomes a person of my origin world, I won't kill him, the system said in a calm voice after some pondering. Li Yunmu nodded, then turned toward the disciples of Yin Manor and said with an unpleasant expression, What were you three chattering just now? The disciples of Yin Manor. Hidden in their black fog, the three of them were deathly pale and didn't dare to say anything. Before they found out Li Yunmu's cultivation, they were acting like overlords of the Night Pearl small world. After all, wherever they went, they would be given face. But after learning about Li Yunmu's cultivation, they turned into docile lambs. A quasi great principal golden immortal would only be second to Yin Emperor and the four kings of Yin Manor. Compared to the three of them who hadn't even become immortals, he was like a pinnacle existence. What was more, this quasi great principal golden immortal wasn't someone for Gumang real world, but an enemy from the origin world. He didn't have any apprehensions toward Yin Manor and could kill them with a single thought. I asked you something, why aren't you opening your mouths? Li Yunmu's entire body was covered in black threads, and his eyes were completely black, like those of a corpse demon. His divine presence was also enveloping the entire mountain. The disciples of Yin Manor rooted to the spot were speechless. Why don't you retrieve your presence, and then we'll speak? When Li Yunmu saw that the disciples of Yin Manor still weren't speaking, he frowned slightly. 
his gaze turned toward the domain surrounding the three of them, in which countless ghosts were lying motionlessly as if they were frozen. I understand now. Your cultivation is very low and you can't resist my presence, Li Yunmu said, and the irregular black lines disappeared. His presence quickly decreased from great principle golden immortal to golden immortal and then completely disappeared, as if he was an ordinary person. The disciples of Yin Manor felt their bodies loosen up, and they heaved a sigh of relief. Now you can speak. What were you saying earlier? Li Yunmu asked with an indifferent smile. The three looked at each other, and the disciple in the front slowly said, Lord, are you Azura's subordinate? Chapter 945, Collection of Cultivators Do you tribulation passing stage youngsters know Azura? Li Yunmu asked with a frown. Yin son of heaven that he had encountered previously at the Divine Palace also knew about the five ancient gods, but it was because his position was very high. Although he was only a true immortal, his father was a quasi-sage. But the three youngsters before his eyes were only at the tribulation passing stage, which were mortal realms. So how could they know Azura's name? That was quite a mystery. When Li Yunmiu came to the Night Pearl Small World and encountered Ju King's group, they could only guess that he was someone from the origin world. They knew nothing about Azura, which made it clear that the collaboration between Azura and the Alliance wasn't known by ordinary people. At least, the small factions like the one to which Ju King's belonged to had no idea which ancient god of the origin world was working together with the Alliance. Which power do you three youngsters belong to? Li Yunmu asked with a frown while looking at the Yin domain surrounding the disciples of Yin Manor N. He had seen a similar domain with Yin Son of Heaven. But the laws of Grand Dados in Gumang origin world were scattered, so anyone could comprehend any law. It wasn't that only those who belonged to Yin Son of Heaven's faction could comprehend the laws of death. We are disciples of Yin Manor, the subordinates of Yin Emperor. When saying Yin Emperor, a hint of pride appeared on the face of the Yin Manor's disciple, and he felt even more confident in his heart. Even a great principal golden immortal would need to think twice before acting against a quasi-sage's faction. Not to mention that the person in front of them was only a quasi-great principal golden immortal. Since he was able to enter the Night Pearl small world, he was also likely to be a subordinate of Azura and be familiar with the name of Yin Emperor. Since Lord has reached the Quasi Great Principal Golden Immortal, your distinguished self should be aware of the existence of Gumang Real World. If Sire is willing to let us go, we will speak a few good words about Sire to Yin Son of Heaven. I believe that Yin Son of Heaven and Lord Yin Emperor will pay attention to you and will be willing to give you shelter, the disciple in the lead said in a calm and collected tone. Li Yunmu nodded as he looked at the disciples of Yin Manor. Yet against their expectations, he asked in a doubtful voice, Does your Yin Manor have many sons of heaven? Some time ago, I killed one in Divine Palace, and a projection of Yin Emperor appeared from his body. But I didn't like his tone, so I obliterated him. When he said that, a hint of astonishment appeared on the faces of Yin Manor's disciples concealed in the black fog, they were all terrified. Yin Manor only had one Yin Son of Heaven at any given time, and the position of the rest of the descendants was below that of the young master. The previous Yin Son of Heaven, Yin Hong, had collaborated with the five ancient gods and perished in their divine palace. After his death, Yin Emperor, who had been in seclusion, came out and promoted his eldest son to the position of Yin Son of Heaven, making him the young master of Yin Manor. At the time of the previous young master's death, a rumor had spread that Yin Hong had offended a mysterious powerhouse of the origin world and even Yin Emperor's projection couldn't rescue him. So when the three disciples of Yin Manor heard Li Yun Mu's words, they almost pissed their pants. Their previous proud attitude disappeared without any trace. Yin Emperor was a quasi-sage and only one step away from the sage who created the world as well as controlled the laws of all living creatures. The projection bestowed by such an imposing person only had 20 to 30 percent strength of the main body, but it was still enough to contend against a great principal golden immortal. And now, the quasi great principal golden immortal was saying in a casual tone that he killed the previous Yin Son of Heaven and also wiped out Yin Emperor's projection. 
it was as ridiculous as a dream, since no one would ever believe that the projection of Yin Emperor was destroyed by a quasi-great principal golden immortal. Lord, there's a limit to stories. You shouldn't just say whatever comes to your mind, the disciple of Yin Manor in the lead respectfully said in a firm tone. Due to Li Yun Mu's story, the three believed that he wanted to ally with Yin Manor and was saying such things only to raise his worth. What? Why would I talk so much nonsense? I would only be afraid if Yin Emperor could come personally. There's no need to fear a mere projection, Li Yun Mu said without paying much attention to the trio. He was still observing the flourishing vitality in Zhu King's body. The youth was about to recover soon, so Li Yun Mu didn't need to engage in any more idle chatter with the disciples of Yin Manor. Just when the disciples of Yin Manor were thinking of refuting and were about to open their mouths, they saw a wave of black energy shot out from Li Yun Mu. All right, he has woken up, so you can all withdraw. He needs some peace now, so idlers need to disappear, okay? As he said that, the expressions of the three disciples of Yin Manor changed, and the sounds of explosions erupted from their bodies when they unleashed their full strength to try and escape. The speed of the three was extremely fast, but the wave of black energy was even faster as it transformed into a black serpent which swallowed them. The three disciples of Yin Manor were soon in the transparent stomach of the black serpent. Li Yunmu opened his palm, revealing the opening to the heavenly world for the black serpent to enter. Li Yunmu closed his hand and said with satisfaction, All right now. Although three tribulation passing experts when changed into Grand Dao fragments won't be much, but they are still comparable to a chicken leg. According to his plan, he would explore all the god ruins of the Night Pearl small world and capture the cultivators to condense the rules of Grand Daos, which should be sufficient for use in the early stages of reform. After kidnapping the cultivators, he would also use manipulation and coercion on them to learn about the cultivation methods of the other sects. Like that, he could kill two birds with one stone. Where is this? After Ju Kingzi woke up, he opened his eyes and looked at Li Yun Mu, who seemed familiar to him. Li Yun Mu looked at the confused Ju Kingzi and said with a smile, You finally regained consciousness. Ju Kingzi opened his mouth and made some incoherent sounds, unable to speak a single sentence or even a word. His eyes were shining and pure like those of a child. Li Yunmu narrowed his eyes slightly, the situation wasn't completely out of his expectations. After R. Yu Xiao's new soul was born, apart from the few thoughts which remained in his head because of having said them repeatedly, he could only shout incoherently at other times. Once scared, he would start bawling. And Zhu King's situation was the same. Without saying anything, Li Yunmu first used the tortoise spell to seal Zhu Kingzi and made him enter hibernation. After placing his body next to R. Yu Xiao in the heavenly world, Li Yunmu advanced southwest. Because of the urgency of the situation, Li Yunmu had hurried over without being able to stop Yan Wang Kaiu. The rainbow sword which was flying southwest with Yan Wang Kaiu and the twins was Zhu Kingzi's refined immortal sword. Its speed was very fast and it could cover a thousand kilometers in one breath. But after Ju Kings perished, the rainbow sword couldn't continue flying independently. Yan Wang Kaiu and the twins were only at Golden Core Realm, so they couldn't have run very far. With one step, Li Yunmu appeared on another mountain peak. A magic gourd was flying in the sky above it. A middle-aged cultivator with a serious expression was sitting on top of the gourd, flying forward without much thought. Just when he flew past the mountain peak on which Li Yunmu had appeared, a powerful suction force appeared and absorbed him. Li Yunmu collected him in his heavenly world and continued advancing southwest with satisfaction. I feel great, just got another cultivator. Chapter 946, Tears and Smiles While proceeding southwest, Li Yunmu collected all cultivators he encountered in the path and put them in his heavenly world. Occasionally, he ran into a group of cultivators in some god ruins. Along the path, he obtained five godhoods, so together with R. Yu Xiao's godhood, he already had six. There were more than a hundred cultivators in his heavenly world, 
and all of them were tribulation passing experts with their cultivation varying between initial stage to peak stage. His harvest could be considered bountiful. The heavenly world was empty before, with only the spirits of fifteen gods of Azura City's four clans imprisoned inside, and the mortals of Lanlu residing not far from them. After learning about the cultivation system of the Gumang real world from Yan Wangkayu, Li Yunmu had begun his plan to transform the origin world. He allowed all the mortals in the heavenly world to start cultivating and practice martial arts for building their foundation. Apart from that, the mortals would also throw stones at the fifteen gods whenever they walked past the box. When Ar Yu Shao and Zhu Kingzi were sealed and put in hibernation, Li Yunmu placed them in a corner of his heavenly world. After walking 2,000 kilometers, Li Yunmu finally encountered Yan Wang Kaiyu and the twins hidden at a secret place. The three of them were hiding in a cave, and Yan Wang Kaiyu's voice resounded inside it. Senior apprentice brother stayed behind to stop the disciples of Yin Manor and the true immortals of the Alliance to protect us. You two must remember this for eternity and directing all your resentment toward the Alliance and Yin Manor. Cultivate the secret technique as if your life depends on it. Yan Wang Kaiyu solemnly looked at the two twins while speaking. The boys nodded with sorrow and tears in their eyes. Li Yunmu hid at the entrance and concealed his presence so he could eavesdrop. In the cave, Yan Wang Kaiyu looked at the twins who seemed to be weeping and said in a cold voice, Don't weep, you must remember that crying is for the weak. The accident this time was completely because of senior apprentice brother. If it were not for his indecisiveness, he would have got his hands on a godhood long ago, so why would he have needed to court disaster again and again to this day? After speaking up to there, Yan Wang Kaiyu paused and wiped the moistness from the corners of her eyes. She then raised her head and said, if he had obtained godhood earlier, he would have become an immortal long ago. Then why would he have needed to go to that god ruins after Lang Yan and provoke Yin son of heaven into chasing him? He still owes me a wedding. After saying that, Yan Wang Kaiyu couldn't control the tears from appearing in her eyes, and they began to fall as if the gates were opened. The twins also covered their mouths and began to weep without making any noise. When Li Yunmu saw this scene, he felt somewhat guilty in his heart. The three of them were weeping for Zhu Kingzi who was lying dormant at a corner of his heavenly world. He had wanted to hear what Yan Wang Kaiyu and the twins were saying secretly, but he hadn't expected that they would be crying. After hearing that, Li Yunmu instantly arrived in front of the three and coughed lightly. When Yan Wang Kai raised her head and saw Li Yunmu, her gaze turned calm. The next instant though, her excitement turned into despair and she softly asked, How did you come here? I was passing through and sensed a presence in the mountain. What are the three of you doing here? Li Yunmu said while pretending to be confused. Nothing, since you have come, I want to make a deal with you. The pearl of the metal attributed godhood appeared in Yan Wang Kaiyu's hand. It was completely round and smooth as if it was a liquid. I want to use this one-fifth of a godhood in exchange for you delivering us to the Alliance's teleport channel. What do you think? When Li Yunmu saw Yan Wang Kaiyu taking out the metal attributed godhood without any hesitation, he was somewhat astonished. Zhu Kingzi was killed by the disciples of Yin Manor, but Yan Wang Kaiyu's first thought wasn't to collaborate with him for revenge, but to return to the Gumang real world. You don't have any plans to cooperate with me? Li Yunmu suspiciously asked. Yan Wang Kaiyu gave a miserable smile and said, If the situation was the same as before, I would have collaborated with you without any hesitation, but there's no need anymore. Better tell me what do you think about the deal I mentioned just now. Just as Li Yunmu was about to say something, the system's voice echoed in his mind. If you continue to lie to her now and she learns that Zhu Kingzi is alive later, she will definitely see you as the enemy. After hearing that, Li Yunmu looked at Yan Wang Kaiyu, who had a calm and collected expression. Take a look, who is this, he said with a smile. He extended his palm in front of Yan Wang Kaiyu and the twins. When the three pairs of eyes looked into the opening of the heavenly world with the dormant Zhu Kingzi, Yan Wang Kaiyu cried out in surprise. Senior Apprentice Brother 
Yan Wanaku grabbed Li Yunmu's hand and carefully observed Zhu Qingzi, sensing the boundless majesty of his body. After a moment, she raised her head and looked at Li Yunmu while smiling brightly, which caused her eyes to turn into crescent moons. Did you save senior apprentice brother? Why not take him out, she said with excitement. Observe him carefully. Do you feel any changes in his body, Li Yunmu said mysteriously while continuing to smile. Yan Wang Kai frowned and lowered her head to take a clear look through the crack in the palm. Ju Kingzi was lying on a patch of grass. Three feet around his body, sword intent in the form of a sword was roaming around. The most crucial thing, however, was that the fluctuations coming from Ju Kingzi's soul were very weak, almost like those of an ordinary person. Li Yunmu pulled his hand back and looked at Yan Wang Kai before asking, Did you find any differences in Ju Kingzi? Senior apprentice brother's soul is very weak, completely unlike a tribulation passing expert's soul. It is more like the soul of a mortal who had never cultivated. Moreover, the sword intent surrounding his body is very weak, seemingly completely powerless. Wait a minute. Just before she finished speaking, Yan Wang Kai paused. She raised her head and looked at Li Yunmu with her eyes wide. That's right, your senior apprentice brother possesses an innate sword body. Previously, I saw you three being pulled by a sword, so I immediately returned. But I was still a step too late. Ju Kingzi had already ignited his cultivation and taken care of the three true immortals of the Alliance. His immortal soul and true soul had shattered. I gathered his true soul and used a secret elixir to let him be reborn. He was born with a new soul, and his body turned into an innate sword body. But he doesn't have the memories of his previous life. It can be said that Ju Kingza is still Ju Kingza because it is his body, but he is also not Ju Kingza because his soul is like a white paper, Li Yunmu explained while looking at Yan Wang Kaiu. After hearing his words, all the excitement on Yan Wang Kaiu's face disappeared and she began to frown while thinking about it. Then she slowly said, that's also good. At least he profited from the disaster and obtained an innate sword body. This could also be considered as a rebirth. Li Yunmu, can you bring senior apprentice brother with you to the origin world? Let him mature there. Given his future potential, he can be of great assistance to your origin world. Why do you think so? Could it be that you don't want to bring Ju Kingza back to Profound Sword Pavilion with you? Chapter 947, Vicious and Ruthless From the moment Li Yunmu decided to show Ju Kingza lying in his heavenly world to Yan Wang Kaiu and the twins, he had begun to think of countless reasons to convince her to let him take Ju Kingza to the origin world. After considering it for a long while, he was only waiting for Yan Wang Kaiu to open her mouth. But he hadn't thought that once she spoke, she would reverse the situation by suggesting for Li Yunmu to take Ju Kingza to the origin world with him. That was really strange. The present Ju Kingza was like a blank piece of paper, so after coming to the origin world, he would become a person of the origin world and would then view those from outside his world as enemies. Yan Wang Kai sighed and said with a bitter smile, so what if he has an innate sword body? He must also have the fortune to enjoy this heavenly aptitude. Heavenly Sword is the number one power for those with Sword Deo and the place where an innate sword body had appeared previously. He reached the great principal golden immortal realm within a hundred years, and his strength had been comparable to that of Quasi Sages. After that, the true god of the origin world killed him, but later on, another youth possessing an innate sword body appeared in the Heavenly Sword. He is viewed as a treasure by the entire heavenly sword. But within a world, there can only be one innate sword body. If two appear, then one of them is a fake innate sword body, so one of them must die if the other wants to cultivate the innate sword body. When senior apprentice brother returns to the Gumang real world, do you think that the youth from heavenly sword will not sense anything? Even at its peak, profound sword pavilion couldn't compare to heavenly sword, so how would it fight back when it is so weak now? That is why the best option is to let you take senior apprentice brother with you to the origin world. There is no sword Deo in your world, 
and senior apprentice brother possesses the genuine innate sword body, so he will become a great principal golden immortal comparable to quasi sages after a hundred years. I don't believe that you are not excited about getting such a helper. I have only one request, and that is to allow senior apprentice brother to live safely for a hundred years. After saying that, Yan Wang Kaiya shifted her gaze to Li Yun Mu's hand as if she could see through it into the world where Zhu Kingzi was lying, and a smile appeared on his face. I agree. Li Yun Mu's reply was just as expected. Zhu Kingzi's potential was enormous, so how could his heart not be moved? The twins listened to the conversation between the two of them and watched with wide eyes. After a moment of silence, the smile on Yan Wang Kaiya's face disappeared. Her attitude changed, and she looked at Li Yun Mu. Previously, you were talking about collaboration. Is that offer still valid or not? She asked in an ice cold tone. Li Yun Mu was startled, but he soon recalled the offer of collaboration to steal all the godhoods from the Night Pearl small world. He excitedly looked at Yan Wang Kai's transformation, then said with a faint smile, Naturally, it is still valid. We can deal with the cultivators within the Night Pearl small world together, but nine tenths of the godhoods will belong to me. I only want you to help me by pointing out the direction of various god ruins and powers as well as the base camp of the Alliance. Yan Wang Kai nodded, then shook her head. After thinking for a while, she said, it would be very slow if we went after them one by one. We should catch them all in one fell swoop. I don't want anyone from the Night Pearl small world to return to the Gumang real world. We can. After a long time, Li Yunmu looked at the calm and collected Yan Wang Kai in astonishment. He even began to suspect if she was really the same person who was constantly feasting upon chicken legs until just recently. The difference was way too great. Youngster, this girl has a ferocious character. Even I hadn't judged her right. The system sighed with sorrow in Li Yunmu's brain. Even it was astonished by Yan Wang Kai's plan. Yan Wang Kai blushed red and slowly said, I hope that you can do this. Let me and the twins stay in the heavenly world until you finish this matter. I want to accompany my senior apprentice brother. That's all right, here you go. Li Yun Mu touched Yan Wang Kai's forehead and imparted her the improved version of tortoise seal spell. Then, he pulled the three into his heavenly world and dropped by Zhu King's side. Yan Wang Kai looked at the dormant Ju Kingzi with a cheerful expression. She made a seal in the sky and threw it on Ju Kingzi's body. Then, she looked at ancient god Ryu Shao lying beside him with some curiosity and hit him with a seal as well. The black imprints on Ju Kingzi and Ryu Shao's foreheads disappeared. After a while, Ryu Shao opened his eyes, and the two black dragons on his shoulders also woke up. They looked at the twins moving around them. Then Ar Yu Shao's face turned blank and his eyes went red. He began to weep with the two black dragons on his shoulders also in mourning. The twins extended their hands to wipe away Ar Yu Shao's tears in a panic, but Ar Yu Shao only started crying even more intensely. Yan Wang Kai's lips twitched, but she shifted her gaze to Zhu Kingzi, who had just sat up with his hands for support. He surveyed his surroundings. Then his gaze fell on Yan Wang Kaiyu's body and he coldly asked, Where is this? When Yan Wang Kaiyu heard him, a smile crept on her face. Fortunately, her senior apprentice brother hadn't turned into a child like Ar Yu Shao after his soul was formed again. She carefully scrutinized him and discovered that his temperament was somewhat different. Previously, he was like a refined scholar, but now, he seemed somewhat cold, like a complete stranger. Senior Apprentice Brother, do you still remember me? Yan Wang Kaiyu asked with her face full of expectations. Ju Kingza looked at her with a tilted head and a puzzled expression on his face. He also tried to speak. W A W A W A. After a long while, Yan Wang Kaiyu's frozen expression finally began to relax, and she consoled herself. No matter, no matter. As long as he is alive, Everything is all right. Senior apprentice brother, you must certainly remember me properly, otherwise, once you go to the origin world, you will completely forget me. 
we will only meet after a hundred years. After those words, Yan Wang Kaihu's face turned slightly red, and she took hold of Zhu King's face with her hands and kissed him. The twins standing on the side closed their own eyes and used their hands to cover the eyes of Ar Yu Shao and the black dragons. Within the cave, Li Yun Miu shook his head and said in amazement, the youngsters these days are really naughty. After those words, he stepped forward and appeared on another mountain. Standing on the mountain peak, he looked at the scenery and asked the system in his mind, were the disciples of those ten powers charmed? Naturally, since they are only mortals. How could they resist my charming technique? Li Yun Miu nodded, then threw the tribulation passing cultivators charmed by the system out of his heavenly world. The ten tribulation passing cultivators landed all over the sky. A black glimmer appeared in each person's eye, then disappeared. The ten people looked full of excitement. They stayed at the same place for a moment, then flew out in all directions. When the charmed cultivators met other people, they spread information via a mental link. After that, more tribulation passing experts flew in various directions. In an instant, the majority of the tribulation passing experts were flying southwest with a hint of excitement on their faces. Chapter 948 Everyone Sets Out In the god ruins of ancient god Ar Yu Shao, the disciples of Yin Manor were standing in two rows and illuminating the mountain cave with nine palace lamps. Yin Son of Heaven was seated in the middle, looking at a puddle of black liquid as well as the extinguished ancient copper lamp with gloominess on his face. After a long time, Yin Qi waved his hand, and a spirit flew out of the Yin domain surrounding his body. It looked like a dog and soon began to sniff. After staying near the black puddle for a long time, the spirit returned in front of Yin Qi. It spat out a black fog which formed a picture in the air. One after another, images flashed, and within them were the figures of the disciples of Nine Palaces and Yin Manor as well as Lang Yan and Zhu Qingzi. When the images changed, everyone from the Nine Palaces and Yin Manor left using their key fragments, as did Zhu Qingzi. In the final image, Lang Yan and the others were dealing with the awakened corpse demon of Ar Yu Shao. After repeatedly going through the images, Yin Qi allowed the spirit to return to his Yin domain. His gaze flickered as he looked before him and said, the people of Nine Palaces were the first to retreat, so they aren't suspicious. The most suspicious people are those disciples from Profound Sword Pavilion. After speaking up to there, Yin Qi looked at the disciples of Yin Manor standing near him and said in a soft voice, Did the three disciples I dispatched capture the disciples from Profound Sword Pavilion? The disciple of Yin Manor standing in the lead took out a jade pendant which could transmit sound. It flickered slightly then went completely dim. We have lost contact with them. Sure enough, my guess is correct. Once he heard that, Yin Qi didn't get angry but rather began to laugh. The disciples of Profound Sword Pavilion were indeed problematic. After the spirit searched the spot just a moment ago, there was an image of a disciple of Profound Sword Pavilion who came in contact with Ar Yu Shao before it activated. Previously, Godfather had told Yin Qi that Ar Yu Shao's corpse demon required 10,000 years to walk. With a few hundred years still left, the corpse demon of Ar Yu Shao couldn't awaken without an external stimuli. The tribulation passing stage cultivators were being careful, so how could their power cause the corpse demon to activate? The only possibility was that there was a cultivator whose cultivation was above tribulation passing stage, who was a true immortal realm powerhouse. Profound Sword Pavilion had definitely learned about the god ruins through Lang Yan and secretly dispatched a true immortal into the Night Pearl small world. They wanted to assist their disciples in snatching the godhood, but they discovered that the dead body of a god had been turned into a corpse demon and they became greedy. Things with Yin properties like corpse demons were a speciality of disciples of Yin Manor since they could be used to increase their strength. What was more, it was a corpse demon of an ancient god so after he gained consciousness, he would possess the strength of a golden immortal. How could a golden immortal stage corpse demon not cause the people of Profound Sword Pavilion to become excited? But Profound Sword Pavilion probably didn't know that the corpse demon which they regarded as important was something of Yin Manor. It belonged to him, the Yin Son of Heaven. 
when it concerned a golden immortal corpse demon, how could Yin Chi let it go? He led the disciples of Yin Manor out of God Ruins, and they appeared on the platform halfway up the mountain. He then looked at a distant place and softly said, List the disciples of Profound Sword Pavilion as wanted in this Night Pearl small world. If they return to Gumang real world, then send out a decree for Profound Sword Pavilion. Let's see whether they dare to secretly store our Yu Shao's corpse demon or not. After those words, a hint of indolence appeared on Yin Qi face, and he stepped inside the chariot. Numerous rays of light streaked through the sky, advancing southwest. They were countless, like meteors in a meteor shower. The disciples of Yin Manor standing on both sides of the chariot raised their heads to look at the sky, and astonishment appeared on their faces hidden in the black fog. They had never seen such a spectacular sight of so many tribulation passing stage cultivators moving together. All the tribulation passing experts who entered the Night Pearl small world were there to explore the god ruins and obtain the godhoods hidden within so that they could comprehend the laws of Grand Daos. After that, they returned to the Gumang real world to go through the tribulation and become an immortal. The god ruins were scattered all around the small world, so it should be impossible for a large group of tribulation passing experts to rush in one direction. Yin Qi who had just entered the bronze chariot and lied down, sensed the fluctuations which appeared in the sky and suspiciously asked, What's going on outside? Yin Son of Heaven, a large group of tribulation passing cultivators have appeared and seem to be proceeding southwest as if something had happened, a disciple of Yin Manor stated. If something unusual was happening, there had to be a reason behind it. Yin Qi opened the curtain of the chariot and looked at the sky. One after another, Streaks of light were advancing southwest in a steady flow. After a look at it, he said, Go find a tribulation passing cultivator and ask him what's going on. Two disciples of Yin Manor agreed and turned into black fog that rushed up to stop one of the cultivators. After a moment, the disciples of Yin Manor released him and reported back their findings. Yin Son of Heaven, the cultivator said that someone discovered a god ruin southwest of here. Originally, he wanted to call a few of his friends to explore, but who knew that it would spread from ten to a hundred, and from a hundred to a thousand. Just a simple god ruins? What good will it do if all of them go there? Every god ruins only has one godhood, so does this god ruins have the godhood of a master god for all of them to go there? The majority of godhoods in the Night Pearl small world were in the physical bodies of gods, and almost all of them were the most initial stage godhoods. They could help three people at most to comprehend the laws and go through the tribulations to become an immortal. There were a few god ruins of ancient gods as well, and their godhoods could help twelve people comprehend the laws. As for the godhoods of master gods, it was unknown how many people could comprehend the laws using them. There had been rumors that the godhood of a master god could help one thousand people become immortals. Naturally though, it was only a rumor. After all, the five master gods of the origin world were still alive. And even if they had perished and their corpses as well as godhood were obtained by the Gumang real world, they wouldn't be placed in the night pearl small world. The disciple paused, then said, It isn't a godhood of a master god, but there are several hundred godhoods there, and there are also the godhoods of many ancient gods among them. The cultivator said that when the one person was passing through a forest, he entered a spell formation and discovered an ancient tree in a mountain cave. That ancient tree was filled with godhoods. After hearing his words, the expression of Yin Son of Heaven changed. The first thought in his head was that it couldn't be real, but when he saw the cultivators in the sky continuously flying southwest if the information was false, there wouldn't be such a flow of cultivators rushing in the same direction. Let's go, we will follow those cultivators and take a look. Yin Qi let the curtain fall down with a smile on his face. If the information was real, he could obtain the majority of godhoods. He had only become the Yin Son of Heaven recently, so his foundation in Yin Manor wasn't stable. It would be perfect if he could get many godhoods, which he could use to bribe others and win popular support. If he was able to obtain the corpse demon on top of that, his position as Yin Son of Heaven could be considered as stable. 
The fair coachman sitting at the front waved his whip, and the two Yin Phoenix pulling the chariot transformed into a blur that flew southwest. The two rows of Yin Manor's disciples beside the chariot also turned into black fog and followed after it. Once the forces of Yin Manor set out, an abnormality could be seen in the rays of white light streaking through the sky. Chapter 949, Who Are You Again? The pair of Yin Phoenixes were quickly rushing through the sky and constantly surpassing tribulation passing cultivators. When the surrounding cultivators saw two tribulation passing stage Yin Phoenixes pulling a bronze chariot with two rows of black fog on both sides, they were greatly intimidated. A hint of hesitation appeared in everyone's heart, regardless of whether the sect behind them was strong or weak. The Yin Fog was like a special symbol, and everyone who saw it knew that the Lord of Yin Manor was sitting in the chariot pulled by the Yin Phoenixes. With such a big shot participating, no amount of godhoods would be enough. Just when they thought about that, a pure white palace appeared in the sky. It kept flickering with faint light as it slowly moved forward after the cultivators. From another direction, a wooden fish flickering with golden light rushed out into the sky. There were many tribulation passing stage monks sitting on wooden fish that followed after it. Their heads were completely shaved, and they held Buddha beads in their hands as they kept reciting Buddhist scriptures. At the same time, few youths dressed as Taoists with unyielding expressions appeared while sitting on illusory characters. Damn it, the forces of all four emperors have arrived. Will there still be a godhood left for us? A muscular cultivator dressed in embroidered clothes looked at the four powers with their imposing presence as his expression turned unpleasant. The four clans were all peak powers, and each of them had a quasi-sage, who were second only to sages, supporting them. The ancient tree that was recently discovered had godhoods growing all over, and it was said that there were several hundred of them. However, there were a few thousand tribulation passing cultivators in the Night Pearl small world, so those godhoods were far from sufficient. Because of that, after the information leaked out, the cultivators found their acquaintances and friends to form small squads to snatch as many godhoods as possible when the time came. Everyone in the small squads would rely on their ability to obtain them, which was a tacit understanding between all the cultivators. But they hadn't considered the powers of the four emperors. The Night Pearl Small World was a place for the disciples of the Alliance to broaden their horizons, so apart from the few disciples belonging to the powers of the five emperors, everyone else were disciples of the Alliance or other independent powers. But when the factions of four emperors were participating, no one would dare to act without thinking. After all, no faction could contend against the four emperors, so everyone only hoped that the Alliance would support them. The Alliance was an existence which could compare to the four emperors. After everyone advanced a few thousand kilometers southwest, they saw a bare mountain peak. Halfway up the mountain, there was a quite eye-catching forest. It shone with five-colored light that seemed to be dancing in the sky. After another hundred kilometers, everyone could sense the strong presence of laws of Grand Daos in the surroundings. They attracted the energy of heaven and earth in such a large amount that it almost materialized into a dense cloud and created a magnificent sight together with the five-colored light. There were several tents outside the forest, which cultivators were entering and exiting constantly, making the entire place densely packed with human heads. One after another, Tribulation passing cultivators descended from the sky, and soon there were more than two thousand of them. Soon, the factions of the four emperors descended, and the Yin Phoenixes landed on the ground. More than ten disciples of Yin Manor promptly merged their Yin domains and created a four sided square palace in the forest. The surface of the palace was enveloped by the Yin fog with countless souls fluttering around. The pure white palace also descended. Several projections of transparent profound spell formations flew out then, surrounding the entire area. They created a circle around the palace. The Taoists sitting on the illusory characters sprinkled countless seeds. A few of the youths used pulsating cultivation methods, and the seeds germinated before growing. They coiled around each other until they formed an enormous terrace. The last ones to descend were the wooden fish which shrunk to their regular size and fell into the hands of the hands of the young monk in the lead. 
A mild red lotus imprint appeared on his head, and a pair of golden pupils looked at the yin domain filled with evil presence as he expressionlessly said, Dress up as God, but play the devil. Yin Chi, who was lying in the palace in the yin domain, turned his head to look at the monk who had the red lotus imprint on his head and was sitting on the ground. A faint smile appeared on his face as he said, pretending to be plain. The Taoists sitting on the platform looked at the illusory spell formations in front of the pure white palace, and one of them coldly said, General without an army. Idiot, a deep voice of a man answered from the white palace. When the other three thousand cultivators saw that the factions of the four emperors did not see eye to eye, they felt somewhat cheerful in their hearts. Apart from the clan that hadn't come yet, the matter of the four emperor factions not being on good terms had spread through the Gumang real world long ago. The Buddha clan and Yin Manor were opposites, so when they saw each other, they acted like enemies. Same went for the other two as well. When the people of nine palaces saw the Taoists, they also acted in an identical manner. If the four emperor factions weren't allies, the three thousand cultivators together with the people of the alliance possessed a large advantage. All the factions which had established a camp halfway up the mountain sent their subordinates to observe the forest and obtained information that there were many godhoods within it. The laws of Grand Dados emitting from them reflected from each other and formed a natural spell formation. Any cultivator possessing strength lower than that of the Golden Immortals wouldn't be able to enter because of that. Soon though, everyone learned from the cultivator who had discovered the jungle that when he entered it, the laws of Grand Dados hadn't been solid like right then. After learning about it, everyone guessed that the Grand Dao spell formation had formed from the reflection of the godhoods and was sometimes very formidable, but at other times, very weak. If they waited for some time, they could enter it without any problems. With that knowledge in hand, all the powers established their camps and began to wait outside the forest. All the cultivators who arrived sensed the thick presence of Grand Dados, which erased all the doubts in their hearts. Even if they did not know why the forest had so many godhoods, even the four emperor factions were convinced that several hundred of them existed inside. No one thought that it might be a trap. From the time a cultivators began cultivating, they could only comprehend one Grand Dao. After all, there were numerous laws which required an enormous amount of time to comprehend. Of course, the Gumang real world still had people who could comprehend it more than one Grand Dao. For example, the Taoists of the four emperor factions could comprehend the laws of five attributes. But even the Taoists who comprehended more Grand Dados couldn't comprehend more than five, so the numerous tribulation passing cultivators couldn't believe that someone could comprehend all the laws of the numerous Grand Dados in the forest. While the cultivators were waiting outside the forest, a youth was standing on the ancient tree in the forest, counting the number of humans as if they were cattle. 3070 tribulation passing cultivators and four true immortals. This harvest sure is bountiful. Six godhoods were hanging on the ancient tree, giving off a faint light and attracting the energy of heaven and earth. Around them, more than a hundred tribulation passing stage cultivators were hanging with their eyes closed like corpses. The faint presence of Grand Dados was coming from their bodies. We are still lacking one group of people. The ancient tree twisted, forming a mouth to speak through, and said, I know. We still lack those people from the Alliance. After they come, we can reap what we sowed. Chapter 950, Alliance's True Son The Night Pearl small world was completely empty of cultivators but for one spot. Everywhere else, only the birds and beasts roamed around the land. All the cultivators had gathered around a certain forest. The factions of the four emperors had chosen to make camps in four different directions, as far away from one another as possible. The other cultivators in the area, a whole three thousand of them, had gathered at a spot beyond them. Regardless of whether it was the Nine Palaces and the Taoists, or Yin Manor and Buddha clan, quarrels frequently broke out between their disciples soon after they established their base camps. Often, when the quarrel commenced, the leader of each faction would summon their disciples within the palace hall for a time. During that time, 
no quarrels broke out between the disciples of the four emperor factions, and they only looked at the disciples of other factions from the corner of their eyes as they coldly snorted. When the three thousand cultivators saw that, they sighed inwardly. Everyone hoped that the four factions would continue quarreling, and the best scenario would be if they actually attacked one another. As long as the four emperor factions did not unite, the other cultivators would gain an advantage. But if the four factions did unite, or even a few of them allied together, the other cultivators wouldn't stand a chance. Each of the four factions had a true immortal, while everyone else was only in tribulation passing stage. In truth though, even if the four powers allied together, they would only have four true immortals together with several tens of disciples. That would make them unable to contend against the three thousand tribulation passing cultivators. Everyone hoped that they could suppress the four emperor factions using the advantage of numbers, but was it even possible? It was completely impossible. The four emperor factions were the peak powers of the Gumang real world, and their founding ancestors were quasi sages, who were existences that could cover the entire heavens. Underneath them were forty five great principal golden immortals. In contrast, the most formidable power behind the three thousand cultivators only had one great principal golden immortal, while the most formidable experts of the rest of the sects were golden immortals or quasi golden immortals. How could they contend against the four emperor factions? Even if they were able to snatch the godhoods in the forest, after returning to the Gumang real world, they would face interrogation and suppression from the four emperor factions. With such a fate awaiting them, which cultivator would dare to plunder the godhoods and crossing the four emperor factions. Although the four emperor factions weren't fond of each other, the true immortals of the four factions gathered in one hall in order to divide the godhoods. All the ordinary godhoods were divided into four portions while the ownership of the godhoods of ancient gods would depend on everyone's ability. Each of the four immortals then chose ten godhoods to be left behind for the tribulation passing cultivators to contest. After negotiation, they dispatched disciples to explain the rules to the three thousand tribulation passing cultivators. When they heard about the forty godhoods, the complexions of the cultivators turned ashen. But even if they were angry, they didn't dare to voice it out. If only forty were left for three thousand cultivators, most people wouldn't receive even any dregs. Everyone gathered together then. They were sure that the only way out for them was to wait until the true son of the Alliance arrived. He alone could be their support. The Alliance could contend against the four Emperor factions, and its true son was similar to the young masters of the four factions. The most crucial point was that the forest had appeared in the Night Pearl Small World, which was under the management of the Alliance. As long as the true son appeared, the three thousand cultivators could rely on him and fight for the godhoods without any apprehensions. Even if they would need to pay a share after the matter, it would still be better than submitting to the four emperor factions who only left forty godhoods for everyone else. The sky turned black from white in the night pearl small world, and stars began to shine high above. A strong gale blew from a distant place, and it had an immortal presence within it. It startled all the birds and beasts while the three thousand cultivators stood up to look. A hint of happiness appeared on their faces when they realized that the true son of the Alliance had finally arrived. Li Yun Mu, who was standing on the ancient tree in the forest, also took note of the strong gale, and a hint of astonishment appeared on his face. What is this? Only one person came from the Alliance. Do they only want to watch from the sidelines, he asked with suspicion. That was completely different from what Yan Wang Kaiu had said. When they were in the mountain cave, she had shared the plan of using the godhoods to lure in the tribulation passing cultivators of the Night Pearl Small World. She also pointed out that a peak disciple of the Gumang real world was managing the Night Pearl Small World for the Alliance. Almost everything went as expected. After Li Yunmiu created the forest and spread the news, the four emperor factions and three thousand cultivators were attracted over. From the people Yan Wang Kaiu had told Li Yunmiu about, only the true son of the alliance hadn't arrived. Although many factions had united to form the alliance, its main backbone was the lineage of the Luo Patriarch. Every generation's heirs were called true sons, 
and the present generation had seven true sons. One of the true sons was responsible for managing the Night Pearl small world. Thus, Yan Wang Kaiyu had inferred that he would come to the forest. Once something important was discovered, he would always come together with the four true immortal managers. But what concerned the four managers of the Night Pearl small world, one of them had been killed by Yan Qi, while the remaining three were dealt with when they went after Zhu Qingzi. Without the three true immortals, the true son of the Alliance should have brought an army from the Gumang real world once he realized that there was going to be a fight over numerous godhoods. But against Li Yunmu's expectations, the true son of the Alliance came unaccompanied by anyone. Even if it seemed illogical. The violent gale that could be seen on the horizon outside reached the location of the 3,000 cultivators within a flash. When it descended, a clear figure was revealed. It belonged to a young man wearing a golden gown and surrounded by a domain of a starry river, which had countless flickering points inside. After careful observation, it could be seen that each star was a piece of treasure. A muscular man wielding a cudgel made from wolf teeth revealed a cheerful expression. A smile appeared on his face when he saw the youth, and he respectfully said, Respectful greetings, True Sun Duo Bao. True Sun Duo Bao nodded, then asked with a calm expression, En, what's the situation here? The muscular man narrated all of what had happened, then finally came to the point where the four factions had dispatched people to tell them about leaving behind forty godhoods for the three thousand cultivators. When he said that, True Sun Duo Bao snorted as he looked at the palace hall at the edge of forest and said in an unpleasant tone, Humph, the four emperor factions have resorted to tyrannically abusing people. They even dare to behave atrociously in the territory of my alliance. As he said those words, a projection shot out from the starry river domain surrounding True Sun Duo Bao's body. The stars were all emitting the pressure of numerous treasures, and it was enough to make the space distort. Moments later, peak stage true immortal presence spread out from True Sun Duo Bao's body. It was followed by various events in the palace hall. Faint golden light came from the bodies of the monks sitting on the ground, and a shadow spread out in the air behind the Buddha son who had the lotus imprint on his head. The shadow transformed into an enormous projection of Buddha, whose appearance was exactly the same as that of the Buddha son. One after another, seals, who were on the brink of turning illusory, flew out from the bodies of Taoists and formed an enormous Tao symbol, from which an ancient and formidable pressure spread out. Rays of light flew out from the pure white palace which spread out midair to form the projection of a spell formation. Great danger existed between the lines. Finally, waves of spirits flew out from the palace surrounded by yin fog. They spiraled and howled in the air among two true immortal stage fiends. Once true son Duo Bao made his move, the four emperor factions immediately reacted. It was completely different from before when the 3,000 cultivators appeared at the edge of the forest. At that time, the four emperor factions didn't have any reaction. They didn't put the 3,000 cultivators in their eyes, even if they had an almost dominating advantage in terms of numbers.